Hello and welcome to video lesson number three and in today's lesson we're going to be going over super globals. All the variables that come into PHP arrive inside one of several special arrays known as super globals because they're available everywhere on your script like in functions and objects and well even more places and if you still don't have a good idea of what super globals are by the end of this tutorial, I'm sure that you will recognize them and definitely get to know superglobals a bit more than you already do. So stay tuned and let's jump into this tutorial. Okay, so for this tutorial, we're going to be working in Dreamweaver CS6, but don't worry, you can work in any text editor or any version of Dreamweaver. Once we open Dreamweaver, we're going to open a new PHP document and we're just going to get rid of all the default text Dreamweaver supplies and open and close the PHP tags. We're going to file, save this, and we're going to save this into our htdocs folder within localhost. We're going to create a new folder naming this superglobals, and we're just going to name it index.php within that folder. Okay, once this is done, we can then start going over the superglobals. So the first superglobal I'm going to go over is globals, and that's written out just by using the dollar symbol and then in capitals saying globals. Now this contains all the global variables in your script, including other super globals as well. This is not generally recommended because it's, you know, quite unsafe. Unless for some reason you didn't know where your variable is stored, then you could use this. But the next one we're going to go over is the git variable, or the git super global, and this is written out by dollar symbol underscore git. Now this contains all the variables sent by a HTTP GET request in a URL for example which I'll show you later on in this tutorial. So after that the next super global we're going to go over in this tutorial is the POST super global. So if we just drop down a line now and the POST super global is written out by dollar symbol underscore and in capitals POST. Now this contains all the variables sent by a HTTP POST request this is normally used in, for example, HTML forms or possibly jQuery forms or jQuery post methods, JavaScript post methods, JSON post methods, things like that. So the next thing we're going to go over is the files super global. And this is written out by dollar symbol underscore capital files. Now this contains all the variables sent via HTTP post file upload. For example, if you're making a image uploader um, or file uploader then you can access the image or file using this files super global. Now the next one we're going to go over which I'm sure you all know of and maybe have even used is the cookie super global which is written out by dollar symbol underscore cookie. Now this contains all the variables sent by HTTP cookies and it can be stored in your browser and actually remembered. That's why this is most often used for a remember me section on a website to remember their information. Now the next thing we're going to go over is a request super global. Now this is kind of like the global super global. Um, it can hold all the information about the variables in the super globals above and it's a little bit more secure than the globals super global but I would still not use this. Okay so the next one is session and I'm sure you've heard about this in creating login scripts. This contains all the variables stored in a user's session and as I said it's normally used for login scripts or maybe transferring data across pages. And last but not least, well last we're going to go over in this tutorial anyway, is the server super global which is written out by dollar symbol underscore server. Now this contains all the variables set by the web server you're using. So this is how you can find the, the IP address um, and other information like that about your server. Now, as I mentioned at the start of this tutorial, these superglobals act almost like arrays, and that's just the way that you're going to get the information. So, for example, go up to this get superglobal, and we can type in two square brackets, and inside that, two single quotation marks, and then the variable name. So, for example, you could have a URL in that. Now, I'm going to write out a link, which is basically what it would look like. So, you would have www.site.com, page.php, question mark, and then the URL would equal any data which you want. So now this get variable here would be equal to this la 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 which I created. And the same sort of method applies using these uh, square brackets for all of these superglobals below. 
So that's a basic tutorial on super globals in PHP. And we're going to be using them a lot in creating um, file upload, uploaders, like I said, login scripts, and so much more. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Stay tuned for the next PHP tutorial. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and goodbye.